You got him. Oh, I did it. We are a group of guys from the heartland pursuing our passion in nature. We don't do it because it's easy and we don't do it because it's comfortable. We do it because something deep within us calls us to connect with our roots, step into the circle of life and to push ourselves to our limits. It's not just the hunt, it's the experience and it's what makes us who we are. We are the Midwest Outdoor Chasers. <laughs> Yeah, I've never gone squirrel hunting. This is gonna be new for me. Yeah, I mean, I mean I've seen them when I'm bow hunting, yeah. but <laughs> making a lot of noise. Like dad and I, dad didn't grow up hunting and we kind of got into it together. And so like, we would squirrel hunt just cause uh, there's a lot of them. And uh, you learn a lot of just about like the basics of hunting. Cause like you can hear them, so then you, kind of sneak towards them, not so much in this time of year because there's so many leaves, but then just, you know, using the terrain to your advantage. Is it the meat worth it? A lot of people say that there's hardly any meat, but... People call them tree rats. I think they're gross. I like to call them chicken of the tree. It's a good white meat, light meat. Um, it's kind of sweet. You know I mean? They eat like nuts all day, right? Yeah. So, it's a pretty good diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they're really good. They're tough. That's they're really hard to skin, and their meat is tough. And so cooking it the way you cook them is important. And a lot of people get frustrated at the skinning of them, especially our our red fox squirrels here in Iowa. They're particularly tough, I think. But they're they're just real prevalent. And they're a lot of fun to hunt, and I think a lot of people overlook how much you can learn and how much food you can get just shooting squirrels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we get. Yeah, you learn a lot of shooting skills, shooting squirrels. A lot of people say like, shoot them in the head or don't shoot them at all. Best practice. But I've shot a lot of squirrels in the chest. Still get the meat out of it. Yeah, you might lose a front leg or two. Most of the meat's in the back. Yeah, if you can Something. hit them in the head, go for it, but. Such a small target. I've shot a lot of them on the run, too. I've looked up some recipes and some people cook it with the bone in everything. Yeah. And then you pull the meat off. Yeah, what I usually do is I cut it into quarters, you know, front legs, back legs, and then the back. And then the best thing to do is throw it in the crock pot and get it soft. And then you can do anything with it from there. I've took and, you know, took the meat off the bone and put it in like chicken noodle soup or like squirrel. That would be good. Cooked it in buffalo sauce, and then it's like buffalo wings. Yeah, so you said it takes, tastes like a dark meat of like chicken. Yeah. And it's funny that everybody thinks that chicken, it tastes like chicken, but I am guarantee you there were squirrels here first, and there were chicken. chickens. Yeah. All this stuff was yeah, here before. Yeah, they say that chicken tastes like squirrel. Yeah, exactly. People back in the day probably ate more squirrel than chicken. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys my secret weapon. They make calls for squirrels? Yeah. I've never found this thing to do anything for squirrels, but it makes you feel like you're doing something. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> never knew they made squirrel calls.
It's to your left, right up in this canopy over here. Kind of botched that. Well, we thought we thought it was one down. Well, when he was working his way towards us, I should have waited till like a guaranteed shot. They move so much, right? Like they yeah. don't just sit for more than two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Another young one. I think I hit him in the foot. Yeah, it looks like the front leg. Well, we could still get meat out of him. Oh, yeah. All right, this morning we went out and had a little bit of luck. Shot a couple squirrels, missed a lot more, but we got two. So with squirrels, they are super hard to skin, especially our fox squirrels here in Iowa. I'm sure there's tricks and little hacks to do it right. I'm just gonna show you how I usually do it. If you've got a better way, maybe you can comment below. So we're gonna skin them up now and probably quarter them up, get them ready to be packaged and frozen and then uh, turn them into something tasty later. But just like anything, any creature you skin, kind of start in the back here. Having a good sharp knife, super helpful. Squirrel hide is super tough. I mean, squirrels themselves are just really tough as we saw this morning wounding them and having them run a couple hundred yards with a 22 in their chest. Another thing about squirrels and their, their hair, it, if it sticks to their meat, it's really hard to get off. And you're just, you're gonna have that. There's really no way around it. It's, but you gotta do what you can to minimize it. See, I got a little fur on the knife there. Just wipe that on my pants every chance I get. When you get that cut made, start working the skin off. And it's a little bit time consuming and you have where it just grabs like this, so. Another tendency of squirrel hide is to pull the muscle away with it. So you wanna do what you can to avoid that. Being really careful not to slice through that. I'll slice right into my fingers on the other side of that. Get to the tail here, you wanna cut that loose. It's gonna be a good handle for you. start just peeling it down. Got to be careful because he'll, his whole body will split right in half if you let it. There you go. That's how it's supposed to be done. 
Had a pretty fun hunt this morning, chasing squirrels around the woods on a beautiful October morning. Managed to put two on the ground, missed a lot more, but we got a little bit of meat for the freezer um, so we can hopefully do some primal plate with that and make something tasty. Luke's never ate squirrel before. Never. But uh, I think he'll like it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a different meat. And I mean, there's a lot of meat on it for a small animal, but um, I have confidence in you making something pretty good. Everything you've made so far is pretty good. Um, also, we got new shirts. It's Lois Life. It's kind of a little little thing we're doing. We're from the Lois Hills. So, And then also the hats. Our website will have all those on there, so check them out. But if you like this, please like and subscribe. It helps us out. We'll see you next time. Buy some swags so we can keep making videos. Mm -hmm.